What's happening guys? Welcome back, Gav Vice Tarantulas. Um, right, sorry about the videos guys, they haven't been coming thick and fast. Um, yeah, as I said before, I got a lot on. All our jazz has nothing to do with you, you're your see spiders. So, what I'm gonna do today guys, as you will know, today is Tuesday, back all day Monday, yesterday is feeding day. So uh, yeah, this uh, as the last video molts, I've had more molts again. The, um, the CCA line, which is there, that has molted again, literally within I think it's two weeks, not even two weeks. Um, yeah, what else has happened here? Yeah. Uh, one of the membranic has molted. You can see that hanging off there. So yeah, basically guys, what I'm gonna do is, um, there'll be a couple of feeding clips involved and uh, the time lapse in and all stuff like that. I'm just gonna feed as much as I can today in the time that uh, that they have got. Oh, we have two new additions as well, so I'll, uh, I'll tell you about them. Sweet, oh, they forget about the new additions. What an idiot. Yeah, so uh, that's what's going to be the day, guys. Try to keep it short and sweet. Awesome. See you at the end. Right then guys, in this one, obviously the name gives it away, it is my black capella for Mori, it is the freshly molted, as you can see the mold is still in there, the colours on this are super vibrant at the moment, which is the best bit about a mold, so obviously they lose all their colourations. So this thing has never been the most greatest of eating things in the world ever, but um, we're going to try. Do the motor first. Here's the motor. I won't bother sex. Well, I could actually sex that, I think. I'll make it sex the motor. Fill the water pole up and let's drop them in a juicy cricket. Let's see what happens. I think you missed that guys, but they definitely run around the other side of the core box of the tea. As you can see there, it's munched it. That orange, beautiful. Beautiful. Right, just pull the GGB down, that's the last one of the guys, so uh, yeah, sweet. Right guys, as you can see in this one, this is my, this is view, uh, Gav from Gav's Tarantulas. Uh, this is my Cramo Matty Pubella blah, blah, blah. Seni Pubescence. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, and uh, obviously freshly molted. There's the tea there. The malt. I didn't actually pull the malt out. I don't know if you can see it. The malt is. I think here. He's webbed it all back in as these things do. So, uh, yeah, let's just plonk this back here in a second. Set you up by here so I can have my hands. It's about feeding tarantulas. Hands are quite important. I'll just fill the water bowl up a bit quick. A bit of an overflow because it's, uh, it's quite warm around there. You're 24 when my room went the wrong one, so. Now, are we going to see this thing eat? Is the question. Being a green bottle blue, it should destroy its food. But. Come on now. Come on, you're all going to be a victim at some point. There's no point hiding away from anything. Oh, yes, definitely took it, guys. Literally lobbed it in. Should have picked the camera up. Smashed it on seconds. Now the colorations are seriously starting to come out now. You just see a little angle. Mm. Oh, another homori in the back under doing a little dance. It's all good. Sweet. Right then, guys. We'll get the. That's one rack done, so we'll get the new additions out next. See you in a moment. These are the new additions. 
in this one here. These were both free. I was very, very lucky to get them off of a guy, um, Carl. Um, yeah, we'll mention a second name, nothing on YouTube, just in case. But uh, yeah, Carl, you know who you are, but you're more welcome to pop over and uh, see the collection and all that. Top man for this, very, very nice guy. This is a, I have to get this right now. This is a Brachia Pelma Bohemi, I think it is. It's the fire leg tarantula, it is. Obviously, absolutely tiny, as you can tell, these things take years to grow. So, um, yeah, let's just get the water bowl. I haven't actually fed them, guys. I picked them up a week ago. I haven't actually fed them at all. I will try the next one, but the information on the next one, uh, it hasn't eaten for a year. Um, right, yeah, so like I say, one new addition, Brachia Pelma. But Mori, but fire leg, one of them. Right, I don't know if you can just make out here what this is, but this wasn't the enclosure she's supposed to go in, actually, guys. She's supposed to go in the big girl's enclosure, but I'll explain why I haven't put her in there yet. See, so yeah, if I can get this lid off without this thing bolting out, that would be lovely. Here we go, guys. There is an adult female, green bottle blue. Now, we all know what green bottle blue is like, and this thing hasn't eaten in a year, I was told. It hasn't molted or eaten in a year. So, um, yeah, sorry guys, phone went down. Hopefully I can link this bit to the other bit. Um, yeah, like I say, I, uh, sorry guys, school by error, don't put my phone on flight mode. Um, yeah, like I was saying, Adult female, green bottle blue. They hasn't eaten for a year. Uh, didn't lay much web down, bits and bobs. So um, yeah, like I say, I bring every, what I do with all my transfers, anything that's new, I bring it home. And obviously everybody's setups are different, everything's different. I just literally set them in something simple, what they need, and let them climatize and sort themselves out for a couple of weeks. Because obviously, you know, different rooms, different temperatures, things take time. So um, I have spoke to Carl about this, uh, and he said that she did lay a sort of web in her enclosure but yeah she was only but like i say this is like two weeks i imagine and if you guys can just see she is completely surrounded by one small web now it looks like a molding web to me but looking at her abdomen she isn't going to mold so um yeah i don't really uh, i don't really know i'll give her another week or two in here i haven't tried feeding her nothing i won't try feeding her today i'll leave it she's uh, she's not actually starving so yeah, that's the plan, guys, anyway, and she will be going. Let me just put this lid on because she's a bit skittish. I might actually drop a locust in and just leave it in there. But, but yeah, she's, like I say, she's going in here, and I have, if you can see on my shelf up there, that bad boy. She's going in there, that should make some serious anchor points through the web up and all that. So, uh, yeah, awesome. Not the pig, the, uh, the deer head. Yeah. So, yeah. Plus, uh, there's two new additions, guys. Um, yeah, we've got a couple more molds, and uh, yeah, we'll cut this one off there. So, sweet, be back now. Hey, guys, this is the uh, the newest mold. This is literally two days ago. Obviously, you can see it's uh, last year, Dora Kluji. These things get huge. It has doubled in size. I haven't actually looked at it myself yet. I will not be feeding it today. As we should all know, guys, and if you don't know, when the tarantula molts, it takes up to seven days before you can feed it, at the minimum of seven days. Bigger the tarantula, they can be up to two, maybe three weeks before you feed them again. You have to wait for their fangs to harden more than anything, but the body needs to harden as well. If you feed them too early with something hard, like a dubia or a hisser or something, they will snap their fangs. No fangs, no food. Dead tarantula. Sweet. Right. Let's have a look if we can have a look at this one. Nice and slow. Oh, look at the colours on you. And that there, guys, is a freshly molted. Look at you. Look at the black. And obviously, there's the mold. Yep, this is a freshly molted Lassiodora Kluji. Absolutely stunning, it's like a crisp colour. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh, 
Oh, it's done, spider. Slowly becoming one of my favorite uh, species. Oh, Gina. Ooh, not bad. Where you going, love? You're biting the web. Maybe your fangs are on the sweet if she's biting and stuff, but we won't be feeding her, I won't risk it. Put a lid on. Sweet. Right, guys. Yeah. Just a couple of fur. Uh, I'm only feeding the one rack. I might start at the top of the other one. I won't be doing all today. Um, yeah. That's about that. But hey. Happy dance. I'm pooping away, but happy dance. Dee, 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 dee. So, right, yeah, um, like I said, I'll just feed a couple more, and yeah, we leave it at that, guys. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you after the feeding. Peace! Right, guys, there is my um, Carabina verse colour. Two videos ago, I said I'd do a video on her. She is out. Look at the colours on that spider, guys. How people can say spiders are not very good. Look at that. She's absolutely stunning. So, uh, yeah, let's try and give her a feed for her extra large locust here. Let's see if she'll take it off the tongs for us. Yes, maybe the answer to that, guys. Now, can I have my tongs back, please? Tongs back, please. Thank you. There you go guys, beautiful takedown from the beautiful, absolutely stunning tarantula. Sweet. There you go guys. Right guys, here we have a pair of Asamani. Totally unsexed, don't know what they are at all. Good size. So uh, yeah, let's try and feed a pair of these and see what happens. There's always one left, don't we? It's always the same when you try to feed something, guys. Always the same, especially when you've got a camera in your hand. Let's try the other one then, see if that one's a bit of dinner. Yes, there we go. You have two of them. They dropped that one in there, guys, and yeah, guess he's all going on here. I'm trying to feed him while holding the thing, and one cricket pulled his leg off and fell in here. And now he's at that one, and now he's down here. And I was getting him another one. There's another one. Well, that one as well. Tidy, splendid. Well done. Look at you. All right, me old time. Mm. Tasty. Sweet. Yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. I think, guys. I've got, uh, I've got two more, three more to feed, but uh, yeah, let's just pop it back on this minute. Do you want another one in there, little buddy? Yeah, hey, buddy, I had two, didn't you? You're gonna have two. You ready? Here it comes. Oh, 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 for God's sake. Oh, not bad. One down here, you went, bud? No? No. Right. Yeah. That'll be that for today, guys. Sorry, it's not uh, as we said before, but at least it's an update. Put a feed in, more moats, etc. Just make sure none of these run out. Bryn is chilling up there. As you all know, guys, BTS is fast approaching. Not this weekend, next weekend. It is the 19th of May. Um, as I said in the last video, I will be there. I'll be at the Holiday Inn. I'll be at the Holiday Inn the, um, the night before, the Saturday evening. Me and uh, Mark from Natural Learning are going up. Uh, I'll be probably be hanging on my car and whoever else I can mingle in with. So yeah, um, if you get anything past eight o'clock, I might be a bit uh, north of the wind, but it's fine. Yeah, and then like I say, BTS show on Sunday. If you see me there, guys, more than welcome, come on over. Even if I'm filming or whatever, just come over, have a chat with me, tell me if you watch the channel and all that stuff. It'd be absolutely tremendous. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you all there, guys. So um, yeah, really, like I said, we'll leave that one there, guys. I'm Gav.
You guys are awesome. This is Valley Strangelers. Peace!